Hello there, only one Kenobi here, only one. This is VC205 and episode 205 of the Vintage Collection Quickshot series. And here is Billy D. Williams spinning here now. Lando Calrissian. And a really good figure. Probably the best you're going to get of him facial sculpt wise. Weird colour and stuff. But we'll we'll get on to, we'll get into that later. Um and you know, just for fun, I thought in the background I would show you these other two because on the wall back there you might see there's a space of three figures of that missing. Well that's these three here. I put them all together, the variants almost of sorts, you know. I don't own any vintage eighties of Lando, but I do have this, which is quite nice to have the retro collection. I did have that figure. Wow, I didn't realise the retro doesn't show any teeth. But um yeah, the other one did smile, didn't he? Then you've got Lando Calrissian here. Look at that one. These had problems with... You probably can't tell on this one. It's not that... Whoa, not that bad, but they used to yellow. So bad that it was like, as I always say, pee in a swimming pool. Yellow and blue make a green colour, and the chest always seemed to go a green colour because it's kind of like yellowing plastic. But anyway, it's nice. It's unpunched, that card back. That's VOTC. And then here is the latest which is nice that they've finally given us kind of a definitive bit. I'm going to go straight in on the face and talk about that. You can't really tell. The skin tone there is kind of disguised by the orange of the background. But um, he has got this kind of like gold colour, which is weird. But, you know, at the same time, I can forgive it because I can really see Billy D there, man. The eyes are great there. It's not a bad figure. I don't like... Oh, excuse me. I don't like the chest articulation, though. He shouldn't have it. He should have the kind of articulation at the waist there. Why he's got a crunch, I just don't know. It's not forgiving that, is it really? It's too noticeable. But um, And you can see the cape is tucked behind him. I was also admiring the weathering on the blaster is brilliant. Look at that. That looks metallic. Forgot to mention that with this fella here. <laughs> see, it's a wobbly helmet. I've just reviewed him, but look at that as well. The paint app on that is great. When they go to, to town and do all of the detail like that, that's that's what we want, man. Just shows it's a premium premium line of figures. Spare no expense. So that's good. And that's all I can really show you. Nice image. They've cleaned that up somewhat. Yeah, they definitely have, actually. Look at that. Look how sharp that is. Now you see it. And now you see it again. Not so sharp. But maybe that's a nod to the 80s, that one. They've even cleaned up this guy. Even though he's the one who's supposed to be replicating the 80s. And now... To the figure loose. And he's just got his back to us. Well, that doesn't matter. You've seen a lot of him from the front already. Look at the cape there, man. He's great. You said they were going to stay in the city under my supervision. I'm altering the deal. Pray I don't alter it any further. I love that. I love the way he calls him Calrissian as well. Calrissian. He's just pushing him around, man. Great figure. Look at that. That's Billy D. Williams, isn't it? Well done, Hasbro. You've, you've nailed it. I like the fabric of this as well. I've got it so it's like sweeping back there, but you could push it forward. This deal is getting worse all the time. <sighs> Something like that, anyway. And the feet, the peg holes are all right, actually. I think they go in flat. Sometimes these peg holes are very shallow. He was good, but that's because he comes from an earlier sculpt, probably for his feet. Some of these newer figures, these new sculpts are terrible, but... Oh, I've lost him. Focus, come back to me. There you go, kind of, yeah. I'm just going to flip it around again, man. Let's have, a, let's have another rotation. And action, pan up. Yeah. I love that. There's an interview with Billy D. Williams talking about his character and how smooth he was. And, you know, and I was pretty damn cute back then. <laughs> I love that. I kind of choked Barry or little Richard. Seeing how I'm, I can't help being pretty. Yeah, he's a, he was a good looking guy. Pretty smooth. Welcome, I'm Lando Calrissian. I'm the administrator of this facility. And who might you be? Leia. Welcome, Leia. All right, all right. You big smoothie. Good stuff. There's not much more I can say about this other than that's the only gripe, the waste thing. Not good. The, the crunch is not good. Bloody Lobot's got the same. People like that figures. I know he's involved in action and stuff in the film. Lando, but you know, I, 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 I would have sacrificed an ability to crunch at the ab for more of a flatter chest or whatever you want to call it without any 
articulation lines. I just think that's, that's rubbish. It's all right with it. Look at this. This guy, you can't tell because he's got like a top part portion of his outfit, you know, so you can disguise it. But you can't disguise it with things like this. Anyway, let me know your thoughts below. What do you think is the best Lando Calrissian figure that's been made? You know, some people can talk about skin tones and stuff like that. And I think Manny always used to talk about the Sandstorm one. That was the best, he said. Manny MG Villain, if you're not sure who I'm talking about. Anyway, YouTube legend right there. Thank you one more time for listening and watching. I have been only one Kenobi. Only one. Out.